but I believe Aang can save the world. We all believe in you, Aang. You can do it. The Day of Black Sun, Part 1. The Invasion. Hmm, look at Sokka. Now he's the stressed one. Top of the morning, Momo. Sounds like you slept well. Like a baby moose lion. I'm ready to face the Fire Lord. Nice, so we're picking up right where we left off. And he looks so much better. His energy and his hair. <laughs> Gonna get your glow on and hit him with a little Avatar State action? I can't. When Azula shot me with lightning, my seventh chakra was locked. Thanks for the exposition, Aang. Eh? <laughs> blah, blah, spiritual mumbo jumbo, blah, blah, something about space. Yeah, pretty much. That is the invasion. Cool. Some of these men aren't exactly the warrior type. Ooh, oh, so what are the swamp guys? The swamp. And are an illusion. And so is death. Okay. You guys here for a rematch? The boulder and the hippo no longer fight for others' entertainment. We fight for our kingdom. How do you get out of that uh that porta potty that Top made for him? <coughs> the inventor guy. <coughs> Man, we have met a lot of people. It feels so long ago. Were you able to complete work on the plans I sent you? Yes, I was. And I think the Fire Nation will be quite surprised. Not so sure about that. They know they're coming, right? They're walking into a trap, basically. Oh, it's a new stick. That's awesome. A rebirth for Aang. I added a snack compartment. Oh, well, I'm sure that'll come in handy. I'm sure that will come in handy. So, as you know, today we're invading the Fire Nation. I mean, I know you know that, because otherwise why else would you be here? <laughs> the Fire Lord's Palace is here. Uh, no, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, it's here. Damn, dude, take a breath. It's okay, why don't you take a break? Aw, he's just not good at it. It's okay. Today is the day of Black Sun, and I want to thank you all for your self-sacrifice and your courage. We will have control of the Fire Nation capital, and this war will be over. That's an awesome speech. I'm pumped, but nervous. Saga, stop it. You did fine. You can't be good at everything right away, unless you're Katara. Oh, I was armor. That's sick. Saga did a great job with that. Oh, and he's shaving his hair. Back to the way he sees himself, like in the like in the spirit world. He looks good. Are those new pants? Oh, and he's got his screaming pillow. So much is happening. Oh, wow, Zuko. Oh, he did go full circle with the, the hair knot. That's interesting that Zuko's come full circle physically. He cut the hair in disgrace, and now he's back home, and he has his royal knot again. Full circle for Zuko. I messed up, Aang. What? The invasion no. plan was my moment of truth. And I completely flopped it. Not at all. Sokka, that speech wasn't your moment of truth. That was just public speaking, and <laughs> nobody's really good at that. It's true. My dad is. He explained the plan perfectly and inspired everyone. I understand where Sokka's coming from, because when you have a leader, when you look up to somebody, you want to be like them. And you worry that the fact that you're not like them now or can't do what they can do means there's something wrong with you. Or that you'll never become like that. But the truth is, you have to factor for time and experience. His father has been through so much. His father's been leading men his entire adult life. So of course Sokka's not going to be at the same level as him in terms of his speaking abilities. And Sokka's such a great guy. He is so smart and capable and so helpful to the group. He's always getting them out of a pinch. He's always coming up with great ideas. That's his gift. He just hasn't developed the other things yet. So he's being too hard on himself. It's important to keep things in perspective. And going back to something that I, I said a long time ago in this series, don't compare yourself to others today, but compare yourself to who you were yesterday. The people who you see who are amazing at things, they didn't just arrive on Earth perfectly formed that way. They built it through time and hard work and repeated action. You just have to be patient and not beat yourself up for not arriving there instantly. Your moment of truth isn't going to be in front of some map. It's going to be out there on yes. the battlefield. You seem so confident about everything. Thanks, crushing How it right now. How do you know we're going to win? Because I already failed the world once at Fa Sing Se. Mm. I won't let myself fail again. So I love that moment for a bunch of reasons. Firstly, I love how they all take turns supporting each other. Like, they all are human, they all have moments of weakness, and they're all obviously very terrified about what's about to happen. And in the last episode, we saw everyone come together and rally around Aang and help him come to terms with what he has to do. And now we see Sokka having a moment of weakness and Aang is right there waiting for him, helping him out. So that's great, it's good that they support each other. Secondly, I love how Aang has come to terms with that pressure. I love how he's turned that fear into something healthy. That often can be the case with really 
negative emotions, there are different ways of processing it. And fear and anxiety and pain are not always bad. You can channel them into productive forces if you put them behind you and let, let, let them push you out into doing what you need to do, rather than what Aang did last time, which is just get crushed by them. I love seeing Aang this strong and confident. What we look for in our heroes are people who are strong, who have a backbone, who have the will to accomplish really great things that we often feel are outside of our own reach. The purpose they serve is inspiration and someone we can model ourselves after. We can forgive Aang's weaknesses for sure. It's perfectly understandable why he was overwhelmed in the last episode. There's a lot of pressure on his shoulders. But it feels so good for me to just see him have that conviction that he's gonna he's gonna handle his business. I love seeing that. That was a really beautiful scene. There was a lot there. Let's hope your invention works. What do you invent? What are those whales? Are those submarines? Wow, Sokka invented submarines? Is he that smart? Helmet? Well, I oh, just came I up with the that. idea. The mechanist did all the work. Okay, <laughs> that makes a little more sense. <laughs> Though your original designs were a bit difficult. <laughs> That's so good. I love how they take time out to establish that Sokka's bad at drawing. Like we had the wanted poster for Appa and Ba Sing Se. Your little gestures of kindness have made my days in prison bearable. Yes, thank you, Ming. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you should go home and rest. No, oh. I'm fine. Trust me. Take the hint, Ming. So, this is it, huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Wow. Nice I hope moment. You kick some serious Fire Lord butt, Twinkle Toes. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to think about how far they've come. We've been through so many things together. That's and true. I've seen you grow up so much. What if I don't come back? Don't say that. Of course he'll- Oh! Good job, Aang. He took my advice in the last episode. That was a good move on his part, getting his confidence level up. After kissing Katara, everything else is gonna seem a little bit less terrifying. I'm sure that makes all you Katang fans very happy. Okay, nothing against that. Yeah, I knew it was gonna come in handy eventually. They're still doing the friend Flintstone thing. Oh, what the heck? What's with these tanks? They're like caterpillars. Suck that, you little... <laughs> Damn, the Swapbender's pretty powerful. Nice, this guy. Oh, that's right, he was the... He was the guy inside the tree. That's so good, I love that. Sokka, we gotta take out those battlements. I've got an idea. Of course you do. Oh, I see. The plan was to blow it up. <laughs> it's a pretty good plan, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay, he's alright. Right? I'll lead the invasion force. Don't be crazy, Sokka. The eclipse is about to start, and we need to be up that volcano by the time it does. I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of you, too. Yeah, he stepped up where it counts. And that's what matters. Who cares if we can't do public speaking? I want the tanks in wedge formation! Warriors Avengers in the middle! He's actually really good at it, naturally. It takes the right moment to bring it out of him. The Avatar is back! Out of all things you could have said. Fire Lord Ozai! Where are you? Oh, that episode flew by. Day of Black Sun Part 2, The Eclipse. Here we go, almost time. Please tell me you're here because the Fire Lord turned out to be a big wimp and you didn't even need the Eclipse to take him down. He nice. wasn't home. Everyone who's here today came prepared to risk everything for this mission. I think they would want Aang to go for it. That's a tough call. I've got to try. This way, that was a dead end. What would we do without you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. Hot magma. Not a problem. you to the group? <laughs> yeah, seriously, me too. She's the greatest. I'm ready to face the Fire Lord. Who's it gonna be? Azula? So, yeah. we are alive after all. Oh no. Prince oh, wow. Zuko. I'm here to tell the truth. It was Azula who took down the Avatar, not me. Why would she lie to me about that? Because the Avatar's not dead. He survived. What? He could be on his way here right now. Wow. Get out! Get out of my sight right now if you know what's good for you. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. Ooh. This defiant breath will be your last. Think again. Whoa. I am going to speak my mind, and you are going to listen. Wow. So I really like this because it's such a long time coming. We know what Zuko's been through. We know 
how tormented he's been, and the fact that he's able to stand here and speak to his father without much conviction, shows how far he's come. It's rare to hear him talk this way. You can just hear the change in his voice. My only concern about this is I feel like there's this idea of confrontation, like someone who has wronged you, you want to confront them, right? And the idea is to get some kind of closure on the situation or, or get something that you lost back from them. But I think this is kind of a dangerous situation because in a way, you're putting yourself back at the mercy of that person. Like, I don't think that Ozai is going to tell Zuko that he loves his son and that, and that, and that yeah, I was wrong, I, I messed you up, I did terrible things. So if that's what Zuko's looking for, then I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. I think one thing that allows you to start becoming stronger about these things is to put things in your own hands and realize that the events were out of your control and that it's not your fault but that you get to decide how you act and and how you interpret things going forward and that kind of puts the power back in your own in your own territory instead of needing the other person's approval or needing the other person to apologize or something like that making it about myself and who i want to be and how i want to spend my time and energy and resources thinking or acting i think it has to come from the right place it can't it can't come from neediness it can't be you wronged me and I, I need you to make that right. But Zuko has to decide what he's going to do without his father's approval or or blessing or anything or sympathy or anything like that. So let's see. Stick to the truth. I'll be able to tell if you're lying. I am a 400 foot tall purple platypus bear with pink horns and silver wings. Okay, you're good, I admit it. So we get some proof that Azula is good at lying. Surprising nobody. I brought home some souvenirs. Oh, the Daily Agents. Daily Agents. Oh, these guys are scrubs. Toph can take them out by herself. For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. Wow, that's very self-aware. It was to teach you respect. It was cruel! Then you've learned nothing. I've learned everything! We were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. What an amazing lie that was. And if we don't want the world to destroy itself, we need to replace it. So I really like that Ozai is consistent. He's convincing as a strong, domineering parent. I also think it's interesting, speaking of respect, that his father, in a sense, is respecting Zuko because he's listening to this. He's curious. He's noticing something about his son. Their history is no secret to either of them. And the fact that Zuko is pointing swords at his father, even Ozai's got to kind of wake up to that and be like, oh, this guy's actually, he's serious. He's got something. Like, where is this coming from? And that'll make you wake up and take notice. We need to replace it with an era of peace. And kindness. <laughs> Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes and no. Yes, he has. It's not just Iroh that's formed Zuko's identity. It's two, two sides of him that are more in harmony. But it is nice to see him acknowledging Iroh's help for him. After all this time and after all that spurned affection. She learned some earthbending techniques, or at least some earthbending defense or something like that. She's so good. Why does she look like she's having so much fun? Oh? Is this the start of... What would you call that? Azuka? Sakazula? <laughs> that's right, that's my new ship, Sakazula. Is that gonna be a problem? Sakazula! It's the best ship. Don't you see what she's doing? She's just playing with us. You're trying to keep us here and waste all our time. Um, right. I think your friend just said that, genius. And since you Ouch. can't see, I should tell you, I'm rolling my eyes. Oh, damn, she's good. Ignore! Sokka's your name, right? My favorite prisoner used to mention you all the time. She was convinced you were going to come rescue her. It's of course, Suki. you never came. Oh, and she no. gave up on you. Don't listen to her. It's a trick. Oh, she got him good. Come and get it. Oh no. Wow. Where is Suki? I'm glad to know she's alive. I had no idea. We haven't seen her forever. I'm gonna free Uncle Iroh from his prison. And I'm gonna beg for his forgiveness. He's the one who's been a real father to me. And maybe he can pass down to you the ways of tea and failure. <sighs> I've come to an even more... Oh, I'm sorry. I... I just nodded myself a little bit. Gotta give credit where it's due. That was a pretty sick burn, Ozai. I'm going to join the Avatar, and I'm going to help Finally. you Finally! Yes. I'm powerless. Why don't you just do it now? Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Goodbye. But overall, I'm really impressed with how Zuko handled that. There was a little bit of like, I wish you had loved me more, but it seemed like that was overall helpful for Zuko 
instead of sneaking around behind his father's back, he was really direct with it, and that took a lot of guts. If you have any real courage, you'll stick around until the sun comes out. Don't you oh, want he's to know him. what happened to your mother? Oh, man. Both Azula and Ozai are baiting right now. Fire Lord Azulon had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you, my own son. And right. I was going to do it. Oh, your wow. mother found out and swore she would protect you at any cost. Yeah. And she proposed a plan, a plan in which I would become Fire Lord. Where are you keeping her? Your oh, you see that fade in on their faces? Your They're both manipulating their enemies to stall for time. For her treason, she was banished. Okay. So she's alive. My theory was that she killed Azulon and then was killed by Ozai as a cover-up and then Ozai took the throne. But people in the comments had told me that she had been exiled. So that's interesting that, that she's still alive. I guess that means there's a chance for them to be reunited at some point. Your penalty will be far steeper. Oh! What? Oh my god, that makes me so happy. He used Iroh's technique to save himself. I knew he was going to use it, but I thought he, I thought it was going to be against Azula. It's way cooler that he used it against his father. Holy crap. That's so great. I'm stunned. Oops. Sokka didn't handle it quite as well. <laughs> Dad's all the way at the end of the hall, then down a secret stairway on the left. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to see you now. I can't help but feel like Ozai and Azula have so much charisma. They're just so good. They're so, like, confident. I love it. She had every move planned out. Yeah, she's just too good. And now it's too late. We thought we had surprise on our side, but we didn't. What we need to do now is go help our friends. It's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, it's a really hard call to make. But even in failure, there are small victories. Look how far Aang has come emotionally. Look how much Sokka has learned as a leader. It hurts to sacrifice people in the fight, but in a way, it makes them stronger and better prepared. So it's not a total loss, depending on what happens for the rest of the episode. I hope nothing goes wrong. Oh, it's the balloons. You guys were right. Season one really was a lot of setup. These things did all come back. They've got air power, but so do I. This is so cool there. I'm gonna do what I can to slow them down. You and I can help too. Let's get back to the subs. The four of them are so experienced now. They just take control. Suck it, balloon. <laughs> I don't know. Uncle! <laughs> He's already gone, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. He was punching me and eating an apple at the same time. Why aren't they turning around to attack us again? They're headed for the oh, beach. No, they're, yeah, they're gonna bomb the submarines. They're gonna destroy the submarines! How are we all gonna escape? We're not. You and well, Sokka have to go with Aang somewhere safe. It's a big sacrifice. We'll be prisoners. Oh, okay. But we'll all survive this battle. Okay, that's a relief. Are you sure about that? Come on, Hugh. Bye, son. Bye, dad. I feel like you should take the scientist because he's one of the biggest dangers falling into the Fire Nation's hands. Yeah, that hurts. All that build up. Thank you all for being so brave and so strong. I'm gonna make this up to you. I like how he handled that. It shows his head is still in the right place. He didn't get crushed by the defeat. It only gave him more fuel to do what he needs to do. It would be really easy to fall into despair at that moment because you've let everyone down. And then you're also leaving, so it seems so unfair. Like, I failed and I get to go away and everyone else gets stuck there. If he uses it as motivation, then he'll be stronger than ever. It doesn't matter. Don't what are you doubt. doing? Uh, I think my dog wants to say hello. You want to watch Avatar with me? Yes. I'm so excited for him to join them, finally. It's been obvious that's going to happen from the beginning, and I keep thinking it's, it's right around the corner. So I think actually this time it might be around the corner. I hope Aang can actually learn firebending from him, because it seems like that's what's, what's missing. He's not the complete avatar yet, by his own admission. So Zuko teaching him would be so cool, because it's Ozai's son, but also the descendant of the avatar, helping the avatar in the long battle between Roku and Sozin. So a lot of cool touches to look forward to. You guys weren't lying. These were definitely packed episodes. They're they're awesome. Favorite moment, definitely Zuko channeling the lightning. But also lots of great characterization and, uh, and, and drama. Good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. I'll see you next time.